Hi, and welcome back to the board game Bat Cave. This week we're doing Cash and Guns, the Reservoir Dogs board mm -hmm. game, is what I call it. Yep. And uh, everybody wants to do that. It's a John Woo board game, basically. So everybody's got a gun, everybody's pointing them at each other, yeah. and it's a stare down contest to see who's going to break. So uh, we're going to break it down into four components like we normally do. I mean, four categories, and components is the first. Components are first. I mean, they give you eight foam guns. <laughs> I mean, that you hold in your hand the yeah, whole game, yeah. and you're pointing them at oh, people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the, maliciously. Oh, yeah. uh, the, the yeah. cards are well done. You know, let's see. It is just uh, it's cards and just the guns. A big cardboard diamond. Yeah, and the cardboard diamond. And the, the, standee. Yeah, yeah. The, the card. Yeah, you got little player standees that you can knock over and kind of give up if you're not going to shoot later on that game. So all the components are made out of really good either card stock or cardboard stock and the guns are actually, you know, like nine millimeter size, size yeah, mm -hmm. foam and everything. They for parents out there <laughs> buying the game for your kids, they're not actual like plastic right. they don't realistic look good and good. You know, they are like this thick, like three quarter inch foam yeah. with an orange tip on them and everything. Okay. And so they can't be mistaken for real guns. They're just gun shaped and everything. But I mean, really, the gun component makes it for me. I'm gonna give that a I'm gonna give it a nine five. They could only I could only have a realistic looking gun and I don't want that, you know, right, anything. Right, sure. But I mean the components, whenever they give you something cool to use like that, I mean yes. take my money. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So nine five. I do want realistic looking guns. <laughs> uh, this this is why we were talking about how it's hard to make a mob themed mm -hmm. board game because of the whole PC guns yeah. are bad, or whatever. And um, I love the components, don't get me wrong, but I noticed in the second edition, which is right here, they made them black. In the original edition, the guns are orange, like the whole gun. Really? And I guess that's so you don't mis mistake the kid holding a foam, yeah, yeah. orange foam piece. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yes, I love holding guns and pointing them at people, and anybody who ever watched any action movies would. But I do think they, I mean, I, I know the PC police would come down on them if they tried to go any different, more realistic or whatever. But yeah. I would have only given it like a s eight. But at Gen Con, we saw the expansion guns, yeah. and, mm. and they got little derringers, uh -huh. and they got guns with removable pieces. You got the big Magnum 44. The big Magnum 44. Mm -hmm. um, see, the game plays up to eight, and we were just doing it four-man last night, and I'm jealous, you know, because I uh, eight people playing this game, oh, ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. We're going to have to do a playthrough of this game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that's going to raise my score after I saw the expansions. And I know we're supposed to only review this game, but mm -hmm. just thinking about it last night, I was thinking yeah. about all the guns. I want two at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and I may, we have to come up with alternate rules for that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's going to drive it up to nine for me. It's a uh, fun, get your hands yeah. you know, on it game. Yeah, yeah no doubt. I can't, uh, I'm not going to be able to argue with you again as usual so it's another clean sweep it's give it i'm going to give it a nine um it's fun it's a ton of fun they hit it out of the park you know wh whatever you want to however you decide about pointing guns at people that's that's you know that's up to you or whatever but uh it, for me it's a ton of fun it's obviously just a game it's just a you know just everybody's having a good time so um i liked it a lot the uh the artwork is not really my favorite, but it's yeah. it's okay. It's it's it is what it is. It's Munchkin esque um, Same artwork. Yeah. You know, the, yeah, so there you go. So it's uh, oh, it it's is, okay. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's not a not a detractor uh, or distraction either. So um, very high rating of a nine on it for components. Cool. I think it was almost you know for such as heavy game like that where it could turn heavy it's yeah. they kind of went the that way for a reason i can see that there keep it light not you know uh, and really whenever they're giving you the coolest components 
you can skate a little yeah. bit on the rest. So, sure. you know, I'm going to sure, forgive sure. you. I mean, I can see mm -hmm. your point. Artwork is a little wonky yeah. on some of it. Not so bad. People, some people, I'm sure, love it. Yeah, you know? he's obviously so very popular. I mean, he's, yeah. he's got but, uh, dark tower you know, and everything. Buddy, doing, give me the gun, and I don't care what you're doing <laughs> cards, you know, so it's fine. I think, you know, you could think rethemed this a lot of ways with the whole Gary Cooper high noon type deal. Uh -huh, where yeah. you could, Ooh, Good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that'd sure. be awesome. Yeah. So, things to think about. <laughs> All right, that leads us into the next category, which is theme. <music> Dug it. Yet another, uh, well, we reviewed uh, another uh, mob game right before this one. And this one is, uh, you don't see a lot of... Uh, get to play criminal or mob games or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, the theme, and not just being a criminal, the after the heist, you're around the table, stacks of yep, loot, yep. you got guns in hand. <laughs> there are no other games like that. <laughs> or, or maybe just one or two, but I, I can't recall them right off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. I mean, the theme in this, it's not like, uh, oh, there's another resource management game. Or right. here, I'm going to build the most awesome outhouse in the world and we're all trying to do that or whatever you know yes. i mean you've got loot on the table and guns that's the whole theme and they did it great yeah. Yeah. so uh, i'm gonna go nine on it you know nice you know i just had the most awesome idea so i was saying that you can use it i've copyrighted that i've given up on trying to everything i say is copyrighted just comes out of my mouth just halloween party yeah Reservoir Dog style, you play this game with actual Ooh. loot, actual goodies. <laughs> They're pretty awesome. You go home yeah. or something there. That's a. I do. I, book it. That's done. We yeah. might have to put that mm -hmm. on film too. Mm -hmm. I, just, I don't want to be the one that bleeds out through the whole movie. <laughs> Who was that? Um, uh, was it pink? Was it? No, oh, no, no, that was Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Brown. Was maybe it? it was Mr. Brown. No, Mr. Brown died. I can't think Orange. of it. Right I don't know, whatever. Yeah, Mr. Black was Cattell, and he was the one trying to keep him alive. Yeah, so that's yeah. all I can remember. Which no? is, which, ah. which if we're going to do the party like that, you got to, so oh, if yeah. you got Hoover's Cattell, uh, it wasn't Cattell, it was uh, Madsen did the uh, switchblade with the ear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great movie, by the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. After you're done watching this, yeah. go check yeah, it go out. Check it right oh, yeah, really, I mean, that's what, this is one of the few games where whenever uh, you pull it out, I don't start comparing it to other games. Yeah. I start comparing it to Reservoir Dogs, the movie. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And that's not a bad thing. So, mm -hmm. uh, And that's one of those things. You pull this game out and you be, it's kind of like uh, nothing you've mm -hmm. played. Right. You know? I think it, that would be, if they should have just spent the money and got the license for Reservoir Dogs, and then everybody could have been Mr. Pink, Mr. White, Mr. Orange. That'd be awesome. And then you would you know roll to see who has to be Mr. Pink. Mm -hmm. Tarantino loves to play board games. He... He might be into it. He might be watching this. Hmm. Right. There he you might. go. Idea up there <laughs> for a spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. the theme is exceptional. Uh, I think mob theme is one that needs to come back. Yeah. Bring back more mob games, the the genre um, and movies, and so we're going to give it. I'm going to give it a nine. Cool. Mm. Yeah, this is the game. My patented line every time I put this game out on the table is I say, this game is, there's no honor among thieves. And you jump into it from there. You, you go out, you pulled off a heist, you get back, you spread the loot out on the table, and then everybody gets greedy. And the guns come out, sweat starts rolling down, you know, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a game of chicken. Who's going to pull the trigger? Who's going to drop their guns all together? Who really wants that piece of fine art that they just ripped off, you know, so... It's a good time. It's a lot of fun. The theme is great. It's mafia. It's it's gangland. It's um, some of the standees are kind of like 007 inspired or uh, maybe Scarface. You know, yeah, yeah, stuff like that. So, but it's uh, it's great. It's it's good. So uh, another nine. Wow. Another nine for me. Nice. Yep. All right, knocked out of the park. Mm -hmm. Next, we go straight into gameplay. Excellent <laughs> gameplay. I mean, you've got uh, you've got some tension. You've got some, you know, 
I don't even know if you'd really call it strategy. I don't think there is. There's just gut <laughs> feeling, you know. Mm -hmm. Whenever you got a gun in your hand and you're around that table and there's a little out there, you're not trying to pick up. There's nothing to pick apart. You're just trying to judge people because you don't know where they're going to be pointing their gun and uh, no idea. And uh, so, I mean, it's, just, it's very tense, but it's a lot of fun. Everybody's laughing through the whole game. Yeah. yeah. Unless, you know, it's Chris's wife, and then she's like, why are you pointing a gun at me again, you know, and everything. So, But even that is pretty pretty funny and stuff. Uh, gameplay was pretty awesome in my book. Fast and loose. No learning curve for this yeah. game at all. Five minutes, not even five. Right. You know, right. I mean, here's the cards. Here's what you do in the round, and that's it. That's it. You know, so five minutes. You can Rinse pick. and repeat. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, awesome party game, especially, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. Yep. Uh, I'm going to give the gameplay on this a, a nine. I, I don't see what they could have done to make it more enjoyable. Had all this stuff there, and I really dug it, so nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's like a, like I said, if there was anything to improve upon in the gameplay, it would be that when you're trying to have the courage round, when you're trying to knock mm -hmm. your standee over, yeah. it's a little bit too open for... If people don't want to, you know, it's a party, so you don't want to come down on somebody for not playing right or whatever. Yeah. So there's a little bit too yeah, you much. You can linger a little more than yeah. doing it right on the count of three yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. so that, I mean, that's a small thing, and it's right. just supposed to be fun anyway. And I did notice that I had no idea who was winning the game most of the time because <laughs> yeah. it's like to it's make it more tension. So fast. Keep the loot face down because nobody's going to remember after eight rounds what you're playing for and what you're trying to collect. Mm -hmm. So you had to build up that tension. Don't keep your loot face up. Keep it down, man. The only thing you can remember is, you know, I just remember getting shot a lot. And so <laughs> uh, the other people were not getting shot, so they must be winning them over me. So that's all I need. And it's a guts game. I actually won the first game I played. I didn't knock my guy down Never. one time. I had that gun in my hand, <laughs> shooting or being shot at every round, and just weenie. I ain't gonna knock my guy down. Just go for it, you know. Well, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> and so I'm gonna give the gameplay. I'll give it a nine also because it's a. Uh, it it just works. There's nothing that hangs you up, and you, you we never look at the rule book no. once you start yeah. playing. Even people who never played. Yeah. And so I can yeah. only imagine that. That, that's my idea of a perfect gameplay is that everybody's having fun, there's no hang ups, and you don't have to look at the rule book constantly. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So that's, right. that's it. Nine. Yep, there you go. Yeah, nine. We'll keep it quick, we'll keep it simple. It's a nine. Everybody that I've played this with so far has said, I want to play that again. I look forward to playing that again. That's and it's a good time. It's different, it's a change of pace, it's pretty quick. Um and yeah, you could you could easily uh, turn it into a drinking game or any you know there there's plenty of of things you could do to to make it even more fun. But as it is, it's a lot of fun. You, you get into it right away. So uh, what more could you ask for? Maybe different cooler guns. Oh wait, they have an expansion that yeah. has that, so it's it's right there. So nine point oh, good job. Yeah, take your notes. <laughs> All right, and that leaves the last category of replayability. Uh, I'm glad you brought up drinking games because <laughs> I wasn't going to, uh, you know, but whenever we see certain games, we don't drink a lot. But we have the occasional we beer do. and everything. And uh, when we do, there are certain games you play or whatever you think, man, this this is a drinking game yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. You know, I would say this is one of the coolest drinking party games <laughs> I've seen. You know, if I had a beer or two in me and I had that foam gun, I'm like, ah, I'm going crazy <laughs> with it. Which is why we don't even play with yeah, it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> not actual firearms. But uh, the replayability on this, I mean, the next time we have a few drinks, I'm going to want to play this game. Yep, yep. You get six or eight people on here, I'm going to be like, let's play this, and we're going to play it more than once. Sure. It's like you know, resistance so. with guns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. just... Uh, like you don't have a traitor. Everybody's a traitor. <laughs> yeah. 
but if it wouldn't, if we didn't play it at parties or whatever, I don't know how much longer I would want to replay it, you know. So I'm going to go uh, do something I've never done before. I'm going to go a 10 Ooh, on replayability. What? I think this could be a game where every time we have a get together or whatever, I would be up for playing this game. Sure. Wow. <laughs> I know. And I've scored how and everything else, and I'm definitely going to go a 10 on replayability. I'm sticking to it. All right, so replay, replayability for me is, uh, I don't think I can give it a 10. Uh, uh, because, I mean, a good, you could play this all night. Yeah. You could definitely play, like, break it out and and just play it, and no one would ever have switch games. See, and I don't know how many games I can actually, I could say that about a few games, but not right. many. But, but right. I, I think this is a specific niche game. I mean, it's a party game. Yeah, now if we weren't, if we weren't at a party, if I didn't have a beer in my hand, I don't know if I would how many times I would want to play this. Yeah, I mean, that's what's going to take it from. <clears> it 10. is just a big group of people yeah. playing it, and all the I going crazy. Mm -hmm. That's what it's going to bump it up for me. Uh -huh. I think I will stick with nine though, because mm -hmm. I think for what it is, like if I think about all the party games I have when I have a group of people, like a large group of people over, yeah, you've got a very few. You got Resistance, Werewolf. Formula Day, Free Mode. Uh, what was a uh, Great Down Moody? Oh, uh, Great Down Moody. Have we done a review for Great Down no. Moody? Oh my God, we got to do a <laughs> review for that game. Just save it for later, but great game. So that's that's going to put it at a nine. So I would I would definitely be in the top two or three that I would want to pull out at a group of ten people that come over or eight people. I guess it's only a play Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna go nine also in this. Um, for the same reasons, and it's as Chris was just kind of listing off. There's only there's uh for me there's only a handful of games that you can play with eight people to begin with. Yeah. And then a lot of times, well, not always, but a lot of times the game suffers a little bit when you get that many players yeah. in there. Just the experience itself. Because this is the so opposite, long. though, exactly. man. You get eight people in this, exactly. and that's the best one, right? You know? Exactly. This is this one. You you it's. Completely the other way around. So yeah, fill up the table, and and uh, you're gonna have a good time with this one. And you're gonna want to play it a bunch more. You're gonna get little rivalries going. You're gonna yeah. get little vendettas happening. Um, you People know, people shooting you just because you shot them three games. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, so yeah, uh, I, I see this being really high. I won't go all the way to a ten either, but I, I can see how you got there, and I'll give it a nine. Cool. It's high scoring game. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. We haven't scored a game that high in a long time. This may be a new. I don't know. Territory. Maybe Jamaica or something. Maybe we scored the. Dead of Winter is our current reigning yeah. champion. Really? Dead of Winter is strong. This we'll one see was... if this beats it. Which says we're going to put the score right there. Mm -hmm. And a big celebration or big went or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we just review them. We don't care how high it is. No. All right. So there you go. Cash and Guns. Obviously, we know it's already high and you should go pick it up for your party game yeah. closet. Party game. Uh, and. Uh, we told you how it is, so there you go. Yep. Come back next week and we have another yeah, for you. Right See, See you next time. Right.